Hey guys, welcome to Medifaction. Today we will learn about the physiology of blood transfusion. Blood transfusion is a process of transferring blood or blood products into one circulation intravenously. Transfusions are used for various medical conditions to replace lost components of the blood. So to learn more about blood transfusion, let's begin. In this video, I will be enumerating an introduction, precautions, hazards of blood transfusion, blood substitutes, exchange transfusion, and also autologous blood transfusion. Let's begin. Blood transfusion is the process of transferring blood or blood components from one person that is the donor into the bloodstream of another person known as the recipient. Transfusion is done as a life-saving procedure to replace blood cells or blood products lost through bleeding. Conditions when blood transfusion is necessary are number 1. Anemia number 2. Hemorrhage number 3. Trauma number 4. Burns number 5 even surgeries. Precautions to be taken. So, certain precautions must be followed before and during the transfusion of blood to a patient. So, the precautions to be taken before the transfusion of blood are number 1. The donor must be healthy without any diseases like sexually transmitted disease such as syphilis, Diseases caused by virus like hepatitis, AIDS, etc. Number 2. Only compatible blood must be transfused. Third precaution is both matching and cross matching must be done. Number 4 is RH compatibility must be confirmed. Next, let's check about the precautions to be taken while transfusing the blood. The first precaution in this is apparatus of transfusion must be sterile. Number two, temperature of blood to be transfused must be same as the body temperature. Number three, transfusion of blood must be slow. The sudden rapid infusion of blood into the body increases the load on heart resulting in many complications. Now let's see the hazards of blood transfusion. Hazards of blood transfusion are of four types. Number one is reactions due to mismatched or incompatible blood transfusion. Number two is reactions due to massive blood transfusion. Number three is reactions due to faulty techniques during blood transfusion. Number four is transmission of infection. Let's learn about reactions due to massive blood transfusion. Massive transfusion is the transfusion of blood equivalent or more than the patient's own blood volume. It leads to number one circulatory shock particularly in patients suffering from chronic anemia, cardiac diseases or renal diseases. Number two is hyperkalemia due to increased potassium concentration in stored food. Number three, hypocalcemia leading to tetany due to massive transfusion of citrated blood. Number four is hemosiderosis that is increased deposition of ion in the form of hemosiderin in organs such as endocrine glands, heart and liver due to iron overload after repeated transfusions. Reactions due to faulty techniques during blood transfusion. Faulty techniques adapted during blood transfusion lead to number one thrombo Phlebitis. 
inflammation of vein associated with formation of thrombus air embolism obstruction of blood vessel due to entrance of air into the blood stream transmission of infections blood transfusion without precautions lead to transmission of blood borne infections such as hiv hepatitis b and a glandular fever or infectious mononucleosis that is acute infectious disease caused by epstein barr virus and characterized by fever swollen lymph nodes sore throat and abnormal lymphocytes number 4 herpes that is a viral disease with eruption of small blister like vesicles on skin or membrane number 5 is bacterial infection blood substitutes fluids infused into the body instead of whole blood are known as blood substitutes commonly used blood substitutes are number 1 human plasma number 2 0.9 percentage sodium chloride solution that is saline and 5 percentage of glucose number 3 is colloids like gum acacia isinglass albumin and animal gelatin next let's learn about exchange transfusion exchange transfusion is the procedure which involves removal of patient's blood completely and replacement with fresh blood or plasma of the donor it is otherwise known as replacement transfusion it is an important life saving procedure carried out in conditions such as severe jaundice sickle cell anemia erythroblastosis fetalis etc conditions which need exchange transfusion number 1 hemolytic diseases of in newborn that is erythroblastosis fetalis number 2 severe sickle cell anemia number 3 severe polycythemia here replacement with saline plasma or albumin takes place number 4 toxicity of certain drugs number 5 severe jaundice in newborn babies which does not respond to ultraviolet light therapy normally neonatal jaundice is treated by exposure to ultraviolet rays it breaks down the bilirubin which is excreted by liver next we can learn about autologous blood transfusion the autologous blood transfusion is the collection and reinfusion of patient's own blood it is also called self blood donation the conventional transfusion of blood that is collected from persons other than the patient is called allogenic or heterologous blood transfusion autologous blood transfusion is used for planned surgical procedures patient's blood is withdrawn in advance and then stored later it is infused if necessary during surgery this type of blood transfusion prevents the transmission of viruses such as hiv or hepatitis b it also eliminates transfusion reactions hope you have understood the video like subscribe and press the bell button for more videos thank you thanks for watching